If you love Vectinator, then today the video is going to be amazing for you because recently they've announced Vectinator 4, which is the new upgrade from Vectinator 3. In this video, I'm going to be outlining some of the best updates, how you can implement them and what they're good for and why you should try Vectinator if you haven't done so already. Did I also mention that Vectinator is on every Apple platform from the iPhone to your iPad and the Mac and you can download them from the iPhone app store the ipad app store or the mac app store and the best part of it is that it is completely free completely free so without any further ado let's get straight into the first exciting update the first update is brushes now everyone knows that vector programs need a good brush engine but not only that they need to be able to customize their brush intuitively well vectinator have actually done this they've created a new brush engine which is something that you guys have heavily requested towards vectinator so now you can actually go ahead and edit the way your brush acts on your ipad your mac or your iphone this is great for you guys who use the brush tool to do illustrative work inside of vectinator obviously i don't use vector brush tools very often but this has made it a lot easier for me to do slight illustrations or just even annotating my work with this brush tool you've got basically the circle at the top it looks very much like other vector programs where you can change the circular brush and squeeze it down make it into an oval you can also change the thickness in certain parts of the brush very easily it only takes a few seconds highly intuitive i would recommend you check it out the next one is the new undo and redo feature something that i've always wanted to have is the ability to undo when i reopen the document so you know when i'm designing a logo or when i'm vectorizing some hand lettering and i want to redo my last step that I did, but I've already closed the document, so it stops the history there. So Vectinator now has an unlimited undo feature, and yes, redos are saved as well, which is kind of cool, because that means that even when the document's finished, you can always restore the previous stroke which is hard to wrap your head around because it's so new we don't really have it anywhere else but that's not the best part about it if you wanted to share this document with a friend or a colleague or someone who is literally working on this project with you they have all the undo and redo history in your document so you can just send it away and someone else will know the history of what you did so with having the unlimited undo it means that your work is going to be a lot faster than usual and you're not going to be worried about screwing anything up the next update to Vectinator, which is again very highly requested, is the time-lapse export. There's nothing like showing your clients when you're doing a logo design or some hand lettering, the process that you took through the actual logo design process. You can get this process by telling them or you can show them exactly what you did. Now Vectinator have been very clever with this, so it means that now you can export what you've done as a video file to show a client but then not only that it doesn't drain the cpu it's not slow or laggy and it doesn't have any artifacts or noise on it because of the way that they've created this time lapse feature this is great for you guys who post your illustration work to instagram because when you're showing your work on instagram to get that little extra bit of engagement on there you might want to put a video through a carousel and you can literally just export the time lapse out and add it to your instagram post which will give it that next step and that next level the next update is sketch import if you have sketch files lying around in your desktop and you can't use them because you could never put them into vectinator well now you can they have a dedicated sketch import function with this new sketch importer you can just simply click and drag your sketch file into vectinator and boom you've got it you can edit these files and all the other files that you have on your ipad your iphone or even your mac this next feature are for those who love to illustrate from photographs of nature or of anything else it is unsplash integration if you don't know what unsplash is it's an amazing website where you can get high quality free royalty free photographs to use in your projects i use it all the time trying to find bits for my youtube thumbnails if there's a photograph on there for inspiration i'll use it i also upload my own photographs to unsplash so instead of annoyingly having to search for a photograph on unsplash and then sort of go for the whole rigmarole of bringing it into vectinator you can now just literally use the unsplash integration to search for an image and put it inside of your document that is 10 times faster those are some of the best features that have come to 
to Vector 84, but there are other ones as well that I've been put on there that I have not talked about in this video, such as artboard improvements, they call it. Basically, you can choose an artboard, create an artboard a lot easier. And object dimensions, which allows you to manipulate objects, move them, to scale them, and to rotate them a lot easier. Again, if you haven't downloaded Vectinator yet, or even updated it to Vectinator 4, I would highly recommend you do so. And not just because they're sponsoring this video, but because even before I was sponsored, I was using Vectinator. I had it on my iPad, and it was really fun to be able to use the pen tool on my iPad my iPhone and my Mac. Down below in the description, there is a link so you can download Vectinator if you would like, but not only that, there is a Discord link down there too. It's called Creative Insiders. And what Creative Insiders is, is a community of designers, creatives, people who work in the creative industry, looking to be part of a community to better themselves, hang out and share some dank designer memes. What I'd love for you guys to do is to join the Discord. It is completely free and when you join, Put your work, your Vectinator work inside there so I can look at it, review it, and you never know, there may be a video coming out about it very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you did enjoy this video, remember to press that red subscribe button down below. It's completely free, and it'll also make my day, which in turn will make you feel better. If you like the video, press the like button. If you didn't like the video, press the dislike button twice, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon. Goodbye.